what's going on guys welcome back so this is the fourth time all right let me see here can you see that the the drive shaft has popped out of the thing again the, the ball cup see that I oh, damn man it's like the you can see it spinning on the outside it, it just keeps popping out and I've had to buy four of these now. I've replaced this right side CVD drive shaft four times now because when this happens, it bends the shafts up. Also, I've had to replace these drive cups a few times too. Um, I think probably every time I had about three times because it comes in a set and I usually only tear up the right side. So I just have to fix the right side. So what I mean is when this goes all the way up like this it pulls that cvd shaft it pulls it right out of the cup so when we put the hose or the little gasket or the stopper inside the shock here what it'll do is it'll stop like that and it'll keep see that that's too much that's way too much why does this keep happening and how do you fix it you have a couple of ways of going about fixing it, but let's do it the quick, easy, and effective way. So, if this drive shaft was, you know, a few millimeters longer, we wouldn't have this problem, but we do. So, the way that you fix it is that you have to pull the shock apart. All right, so I'm going to show you exactly how we need to do this. All right, you've taken your shock apart. You need to slide that boot back and pull that shaft out then you take your tubing or your hard piece and like i said we want about half of this i don't really think i need that much so there we go about that much take your tube put it on and just kind of work it onto the shaft get on there get on there when you thread the thing on it'll push it further up all right there we go okay so you can see that the tube is sitting at the bottom of the shaft then you just take your boot and slide it back down and you're going to want to kind of pull it over it pull it out and over so that way you can get it to go down and let it go all the way down so there you go so you can't see it then you just put your spring on all right and then you put the little cup back on crap on like that and you get the spring around it and there you go there's your shock see it's complete so anyway there's your shock now see the shock that's as far as it goes now it still shocks and travels, but it won't it won't go any further than that. And that's going to help you. That right there. This one little piece is going to solve all your troubles. See fuel line? Less travel. But you do want some travel. So, I mean, you're only talking about a piece maybe that big to go in there on the shock. So that way the shock doesn't fully compress and pull that out. That's all we want. It's real simple, and it should work for you. And I hope you guys like it. Check out some of my videos. Subscribe, and thank you. But anyway, I just now I'm rambling. I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. Um, whoa, wait a minute, wrong way. There we go. Yeah, I like this new gimbal, man. This new gimbal makes life great. 